Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how to use a big IP advanced web security policy, to block brute force attacks with a capture challenge, that target a single username. This is demo 28 of the AWEF demo series, and it's intended for intermediate to advanced level big IP advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit brute force attack requests that target a single username. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the backend web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request, and can block all brute force attacks, and prevent them from going to the backend web servers. Let's start by attempting a brute force attack against the hackers and web application. We'll use an iMacro in Firefox to submit the attack. Before we submit the attack, let's examine the macro. The malicious user has found that a victim's username is bobsmith at yahoo.com. They have the macro set up to attempt to use the login page with his username and an extensive password list. Let's now run the macro. The malicious user is eventually successful at logging in as the victim, and now has full access to this user's account. Notice that in the iMacros page, an error occurred on line 33. The macro failed because it could no longer attempt to log in, as it was no longer running on the login page. That means that we found the correct password, right before line 33. We can see what the last password attempt was before line 33. So we now know this user's username, and their password. This is a simple example of a brute force attack that targets a single username. We'll now attempt an intentionally incorrect login, so that we can view the URL used for logins. The URL is user slash login. We can also see the text that displays upon an unsuccessful attempt, which contains the word incorrect. We'll also inspect the first field, to identify its name value. The name of this form field is username. The name of the second field is password. We'll need all of this information, the URL, the text that displays upon an unsuccessful login, and the form field names, in order to create a big IP advanced web login page element, which we'll need for brute force protection. We'll now protect this web application against brute force attacks. First, we'll examine the virtual server we've been attacking. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.43. On the virtual server security, policies page. You can see that we already have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 26A1, brute, security policy. Let's examine the big IP advanced WEF event log. There were several legal requests for the user slash login URL, caused by the brute force attack. 
we'll select the user slash login log entry, that is directly before the account log entry, which is the log entry created when we accessed Bob Smith's profile page. On the all details page, notice that the username value is n, a. Big IP advanced WEF isn't currently tracking the username of login attempts. Also, notice that there is no field named login result. We'll now open the login pages list page. A login page element is needed so that Big IP Advanced WEF can identify successful versus failed login attempts. Advanced WEF needs this information to prevent brute force attacks. We already created a login page element for the user slash login URL before we started the demo. As a reminder, to create a login page element, we need the login page URL, in addition to the username and password field names, and a way to identify a successful login versus a failed login. You can see that we're missing the form fields from this login page element, and we have the wrong text displaying for failed logins. We'll select HTML form based authentication, and then enter the two field names username and password. We'll enter the correct text that displays on a failed login, the text string incorrect. And finally, we'll identify the expected HTTP response code of 302. We'll then save and apply the policy. We'll now use the hackers and login page to attempt to log in as Bob Smith with an incorrect password. We'll then log in using the correct password. We'll once again open the event log. And then select the user slash login log entry before the account log entry. Notice that Big IP Advanced WEF is now tracking the username of each login request. Also, there is now a login result field. And this log entry's result is successful. The previous log entry's result is failed. We'll now access the Brute Force Attack Prevention page and create a new Brute Force Settings element. We first need to select the correct login URL. Examine the Source Based Brute Force Protection section. We can configure Big IP Advanced WEF to identify brute force attacks that target the same username, in addition to attacks from the same device ID or source IP address. Once Advanced WEF has identified a brute force attack, it can perform a variety of mitigations, for the length of the maximum prevention duration period, which by default is 60 minutes. For brute force attacks that target the same username, we'll leave the default of three failed login attempts. After three failed login attempts, Big IP Advanced WEF will present the user with a capture challenge. Using a capture challenge helps to ensure there are no false positives during a brute force attack. We'll save and then apply the policy. Let's attempt to run the I macro again. After a few successful attack attempts, the malicious user is presented with the capture challenge. They'll enter the challenge response and try the I macro again. They're now immediately presented with the capture challenge. We'll now open Internet Explorer and log in as a different user 
using the wrong password. We'll repeat this enough times until we receive the capture challenge. We'll now reopen the login page and log in as the same user using the correct password. We're still presented with the capture challenge because it's still within the maximum prevention duration. However, once we enter the correct challenge response, non malicious users can still access the web application. Let's examine these requests in the event log. There are flagged requests for the user slash login page. The violation is brute force, maximum login attempts are exceeded. The enforcement action was alarm and capture. Notice that the username is included in the details window, and the threshold matches our setting of 3. We can also identify that the result of the capture request was valid. Using the big IP advanced WEF event log, we can see every time a user was presented with a capture challenge. Thank you for watching this demonstration on using F5 Big IP Advanced WEF to block brute force attacks that target a single username, using a capture challenge. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Networks Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, Contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.